YouTube and welcome back now I know I've been gone for a while but I have moved to North Carolina Bettysville North Carolina that's where I'm at now but um today we're gonna be talking about tattoos that have faded and there's one in particular artist that I want to call out. His name is Kevin Bailey. Now, I don't have any tattoos, but two of my friends have them and they went to him. They went to Kevin Bailey and he's a tattoo artist and he did a tattoo and finished it and they paid a lot of money for him. But after, you know, the third day, it faded. The ink, you know, faded out. So, evidently, it must have not been enough ink. So, she went back to him the next day and asked him, could, you know, he retouch up the tattoo. And he told her that it's going to cost a lot more money. And she said, why can't you do it for free? And he says, he can't do that. My thing is, if you have an artist who does a great job at tattoos and your ink fails on the third day and it starts to fade, that means you don't have enough ink. You are either rushing or you need more money in order to touch up a tattoo. If there's ink that's fading, like when the ink fades, I feel like if you go back for a touch up, it should be free because the ink faded. There should be no reason when you get a tattoo within three days, the ink fades. If it fades, that means something wrong. That means you're not doing the tattoo deep enough for it to, for the ink to stay. So, Kevin Bailey, you did a tat, you did two tattoos with my friends and the ink faded within three days. So I feel like the tattoo needs to be free. It needs to be a free touch up. But you were too cheap to do it. So instead you asked for more money. And you probably needed the money. Basically is what everybody looking at you like. 